Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold yourself if you're getting a something went wrong error on your Windows computer, if it's unable to locate or set up a pin for your device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just off on the start button one time. This first method is going to apply if you're running Windows 10 Professional or higher editions because we have to go through the Group Policy Editor. We just want to type into Start Menu Group Policy. Best match to come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and left click on that. Now I would personally suggest collapsing the User Configuration selection. So either double click on User Configuration or left click on Little Arrow next to it to collapse that. And now underneath computer configuration, you want to expand a ministry of templates. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the system folder. And now there should be a log on folder. So go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, there should be something that says turn on pin sign in or turn on convenience pin sign in. Double click on that. You want to set this to enabled and then left click on apply and OK. Restart your computer and hopefully that's resolved the problem. Now if your fix was not that easy, another thing we can try would be to open up File Explorer. So just type in the start menu File Explorer or if you have an icon down your taskbar you just open it up that way. Go ahead and left click on this PC on the left side. Double click on local disk and just double click on it like I said. Now you want to do the same thing for the Windows folder. And you want to go do the same thing for servers profiles. Double click on that. Double click on local servers. And left click on continue. If you need administrator permissions, you might have to enter a password there. Now that you've done that, you want to left click on the view tab up at the top. Left click on options. Left click on the view tab. And underneath hidden files and folders, you want to select show hidden files, folders, and drives. And left click on apply and OK. Now we should see an app data folder here. Double click on that. Left click on continue again if you get another administrator prompt. Do the same thing now for the local folder. Again, we're going to have to do continue, so you're going to need administrator permissions. And now there should be a Microsoft folder in here. Double click on that. Again, we're going to have to continue. There should be an NGC folder. Right click on it. And then left click on properties. Left click on the security tab, and then left click on advanced near the bottom. Versus owner, you want to left click on where it says change. You want to type in the username of the account you're currently using, so I'm just going to type in my user account here. And then I'm going to left click on check names so that it identifies the correct name. And once you're done with that, go ahead and left click on OK. Check mark inside the box where it says replace owner or sub containers and objects. And then left click on apply. And if you get an, another Windows security notification, left click on OK. Left click on OK again. Left click on OK one more time. Or oh, I lied, you gotta click on OK one more time to get it out of the NGC properties folder. And now that you've done that, you want to go double click on NGC. If there's anything in here, you want to go delete it. So just highlight over it, right click and delete. Again, run underneath the NGC folder. And then restart your computer and then try adding the pin code again. So hopefully one of the two methods I share in this tutorial will be able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.